Hey there, students. On my drive home, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about European liberalism versus American liberalism. If you are an American and you're taking AP European history, odds are you are going to misunderstand liberalism unless somebody clarifies this for you, okay? Uh, American liberalism has its own Wikipedia page. It is not the original. It is a corruption of the original classical European liberalism. And American liberalism today emphasizes government staying out of my life when it comes to my personal life. I should be able to marry whoever I want. I should be able to smoke who I want or smoke what I want. I should be able to do whatever it is I want to do in my private or public life as long as it involves me, okay? But then, while the American liberal wants government to stay out of their personal life, they want government to be involved in the economy. They favor the redistribution of wealth. They favor social welfare. They favor regulation of business and the healthcare industry and all kinds of stuff like that. So while on one hand, they want government out of their lives as far as their personal lives, they don't believe in economic freedom. The people who believe in economic freedom in America we call fiscal conservatives. Now, in Europe, liberalism is all about liberty. Now, that's why they have the same root, liberal liberty, okay? It's because the European liberals, the earliest classical liberals, wanted a very limited government in all cases. Think Jefferson in the Declaration of Independence. Life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, okay? Jefferson was a classical liberal. Jefferson wanted government out of his life. He wanted to have political liberty. So keep in mind, government's supposed to keep us safe, but at the same time, they are supposed to guarantee our liberty. That means our civil liberties, our freedom of expression, and all of that kind of stuff. But government is also supposed to respect our economic freedom. And this is what Jefferson means by the pursuit of happiness, that not only should I be able to work whatever job I want, but I should be free from undue taxation and regulation by government. And really, the American Revolution was as much about economic freedom as it was about political freedom, because the British government was regulating trade. So, the classical liberals believed that government should just stay out of both my civil life and my economic life. Now, in Europe today, if someone refers to themselves as a liberal, then they're saying that they believe in both social freedom and economic freedom. Now, some people will clarify, I'm a social liberal or I'm an economic liberal, but if a European says, today, I am an economic liberal, then that means that they favor laissez-faire economics. Whereas, in America, someone who is a liberal, that is the last thing that they have on their mind. So, just keep that in mind, that American liberalism is a corruption of the original. Think liberty when you think about European liberalism and you'll do just fine on your exam. Glad I could clarify that for you. Subscribe if this was helpful, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Until next time.